I have an apple, uh, not an apple, this is a tomato. Not a tomato, it's a potato. <laughs> I have a potato here, and here is a corkscrew. There's a corkscrew. I'm going to turn the corkscrew as seen from your side clockwise. And you'll see that the corkscrew goes into the potato in. That's the direction then of the vector. If we had B cross A, then you take B in your hands and you roll it over the, over the shortest angle to A. Now you have to rotate counterclockwise. And when you rotate counterclockwise, the corkscrew comes to you. There you go. And so the vector is now pointing in this direction. And if the vector is pointing towards you, then we would indicate that with a circle and a dot. In other words, for this vector, B cross A would have exactly the same magnitude, no difference, but it would be coming out of the blackboard. In other words, A cross B equals minus B cross A. Whereas A dot B is the same as B dot A. We will encounter cross products when we deal with torques and when we deal with angular momentum.